Hi, I'm Shannon from Business Bookers and I'm here at the Bocconi University Career Fair in Milan, which helps students make connections with companies across Europe. I'm going to be speaking to faculty and students about what's on offer at the Career Fair, industry trends and how to make the most out of your business school degree experience. My name is Francesca Nava, I joined Bocconi several years ago and I work at the Employer Relations and Career Services. Our job is to foster contact between employers and junior talents. We assist companies in promoting vacancies and with their recruitment and employer branding activities. We organise many career fairs at Bocconi during the academic year. Some of them are cross-sector like this one, some of them focus on specific industry and on some specific geographical areas. My name is Mohamed, um, I'm from Tunisia. Um, I'm 24 and, and I just have started my Master's in Politics and Policy Analysis at Bocconi. What I find really valuable about career fairs in my Master's is really um, having a face-to-face -face conversations with the professionals that are hands-on in the job, that know the market really well. Like career fairs are important for you to know yourself, but also to know the job market you're about to enter. Yeah, it can allow for a very direct uh, contact with company representatives and it is invaluable insight for students when collecting information before sending out their applications. Employers nowadays are more and more interested in analytical and quantitative profiles, but are also focusing on skills, uh, focusing on cross-cutting assets such as communication, uh, adaptability and flexibility as the job market is evolving very, very quickly. For my career goals, I would say um, I would love to work um, in the government international relations uh, sector. Uh, I would love to gain some experience in consulting for governments. I would say the top skills that I'm gaining from this master's degree is um, mainly analytical skills, but also like presentation, present information to people. How do you educate people about policies? Because policies have two sides. It's making the policy, but also convincing the people that the policy is needed. So employers that we work with advertise opportunities cross-sector and across Europe. Students have a wide range of tools to look at and consider when considering a work experience in Europe. Then we have career fairs in Europe, the Bocconian Jobs Abroad in France, Switzerland, Germany, Benelux and the UK. The great deal of like connections that you get like in the career fair, uh, in the alumni relations network, but also just the master in itself. It really prepares you um, to really become a problem solver uh, in the real world, touch on policies that matter and change people's lives. Employers from uh, startups uh, to big banks uh, and uh, big consulting firms, from smaller family companies to big multinational corporations. Definitely I would like to have um, a bit um, of a career start in Europe. I would like to gain um, hands-on experience um, in NGOs, uh, consulting firms uh, for governments. Maybe 10 years from now, I would like to go back to my country, Tunisia. A bunch to be done there. There's a lot of institutions to be built. There's a lot of laws to be passed. There's a whole like, generation of policy makers that need guidance. Try to be open and consider things. Try to prepare yourself very well before submitting your application. Enrich your CV with an international experience, be it an internship or a study abroad semester. Get to know the people you're with. This is your future network, uh, hopefully your future friends. These are people that come from different backgrounds, different cultures, and it really does um, inspire you and broaden your horizon to get to know their life story, where they worked, what they studied before. Try to explore as much as you can, as being creative and being open will pay off eventually. And of course, good luck. <laughs>